In this video, I'll show you what's new in the Microsoft Windows 8.1 update and review some related settings. The update is provided by Microsoft automatically for most people. If you have automatic updates disabled in Windows Update, you may need to check manually. The most noticeable changes are power and search buttons on the start screen, the taskbar on the start screen and in Windows Store apps, right-click context menus on the start screen, the title bar at the top of Windows Store apps, and a delay when using the charms of the mouse. In addition, by default when you open a file from the desktop, Windows will open the file with a desktop application rather than a Windows Store app. I'll go into these changes in more detail. I'll also discuss how to boot directly to the desktop or start screen depending on your preference. The default might have changed for you with the Windows 8.1 update. First, let's look at the start screen. You'll notice there are now two buttons in the upper right, a power button and a search button. The buttons give easier access to these commonly used functions. If you move your cursor to the bottom of the screen, you'll see the taskbar appear. You can use the taskbar from any Windows Store app and even the start screen itself. The taskbar will now show all applications that are running, including both desktop and Windows Store apps. The start screen has new context menus as well. When you right-click on a tile with a mouse, you'll now see a context menu appear, similar to those used in the desktop or earlier versions of Windows. From this context menu, you can even pin Windows Store apps to the taskbar, like this. By default, the Windows Store is pinned to the taskbar. Now let's look at the title bar in a Windows Store app. If you open a Windows Store app, such as the Windows Store itself, you can move your mouse to the top of the screen to reveal the title bar. This gives you easy access in the upper right to minimize and close. You can still access the charms by placing your cursor in the upper right of the screen. However, there's now a delay so you don't accidentally access them when you don't want them to appear. This might also be a good time to review some settings that were actually introduced in Windows 8.1. Boot to desktop, using a desktop background on the start screen, and more. Right-click on the taskbar. Remember that if you're on the start screen, just move your cursor to the very bottom to see it, and select Properties. Switch to the Navigation tab. Here you can choose to boot directly to the desktop rather than the start screen, use your desktop background on the start screen, show the apps view automatically rather than the start screen itself when you press the Windows button, and more. While there are other changes and features as well, you should now have a good overview of the changes introduced by the Windows 8.1 update. For more information, visit support.toshiba.com.